Welcome back to The Real Deal and here's some advice for you first generation home buyers out there. The sense of pride you feel when you purchase a home can't be overstated. For first generation home buyers, that feeling of accomplishment is even greater. That's because of the pride of home ownership for first generation home buyers extends far beyond the home buyer. AJ Barkley, head of neighborhood and community lending for Bank of America, says, quote, achieving this goal can create a sense of pride and accomplishment that resonates both for the buyer and those closest to them, including their parents and future generations. In other words, your dream of home ownership has far reaching impacts. If you're about to be the first person in your family to buy a home, let that motivate you throughout the process. As you begin your journey, here are three helpful tips to make that dream come true. Number one, reach out to a real estate professional. It's important to reach out to a trusted advisor early in the home buying process. Not only can an agent help you find the right home, but they'll serve as your expert advisor and answer any questions you might have along the way. The latest profile of home buyers and sellers from the National Association of Realtors surveyed first time home buyers to see how their agent helped them with their purchase. As the graph shows, your agent is a great source of information throughout the process. They'll help you understand what's happening, assess your home's condition and negotiate a contract that has the best possible terms for you. These are just some of the reasons having an expert in your corner is critical as you navigate one of the most significant purchases of your life. Number two, do your research and know what you can afford. The second piece of advice for first generation home buyers is practical. Do your research so you know what you can afford. That means getting your finances in order, reviewing your budget and getting pre-approved through a lender. It also means learning the ins and outs of what it takes to pay for your home, including what you'll need for a down payment. Many home buyers believe the common misconception that you can't purchase a home without coming up with 20% down. As Freddie Mac says, quote, the most damaging down payment myth since it stops the home buying process before it can even start is the belief that 20% is necessary. Here's the chart that shows what recent home buyers have actually put down on their purchases. On average, first time buyers put only 7% down on their home purchase. That's far less than the 20% many people believe is necessary. That means your down payment and your home purchase may be even in closer reach than you realize. Keep that in mind when you work with a real estate professional to better understand what you'll need for your purchase. Number three, don't lose sight of what home means to you. Finally, it's important to keep in mind why you're searching for a home to begin with. Overwhelmingly, first generation homeowners recognize the financial and non-financial benefits of owning a home. In fact, in a recent survey, 73% of first generation home buyers say that safety and security home ownership provides is increasingly in importance. Nearly two thirds of first generation homeowners say the importance of building equity in a home is growing more important as well. As AJ Barkley explains, quote, for many first generation homeowners and their families, home ownership has a unique importance given the collective efforts to overcome financial challenges that can often span generations. Here's the bottom line, ladies and gents. If you're a first generation home buyer, being prepared and working with a trusted expert is key to achieving your dream. Let's connect today so you can get started on your path to home ownership. That's all we've got time for in this episode of The Real Deal. So as always, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It will mean the world to me and it lets me know I'm on the right track with my content. It's either good or it sucks. So uh, we'll find out if everyone's liking it and we'll see you next week. Thank you.